Hey y'all, it's Trey Dynasty. Like I said, welcome back to another video. And today we're here to check out a new album by Eric Bellinger called New Lights. Now, I found out about Eric Bellinger like back in like 2019 with that song Tap Away featuring Chris Brown. I haven't really heard much about him since. I just recently found out that he came out with the album, so we're here to check it out and see if it's for me or not, you know? Plus, like, uh, it's R&B. I do R&B sometimes, so it'll just be a good switch up from all the hip-hop. So, let's get right into it. The songs I already heard are Go Get It, uh, What About Us, featuring Seven Streeter, and Only Fans. And don't, three, all three songs are pretty good, but What About Us gets a certified thumbs up. I really think that song's good. And Seven Street is my favorite person on the song, just as my opinion. I thought, but they thought both did vocally well. So, yeah, certified thumbs up to that. So we're gonna get started with the song. Okay, before also really interrupted by ad, the first song is Blue Dreams. Having blue dreams by the 10th story high. I The intro, pretty good song. Based on first impressions, like just like based on the song, like at first I started getting like Trey song vibes from this guy. When the more the song went on, I started feeling okay. Yeah, I started feeling a bit more Chris Brown vibes because like I like because like I like how up paced the production is, how up paced like he sounds on the song overall. Pretty good, pretty cool vocals. I think he, I think he's singing pretty well. I like some effects that he put on his voice, especially the hook. I enjoyed the hook very much, and it sounds like it's more so like one of like those flexing tracks, you know. But like, hey, there's nothing wrong with like a flexing R&B song. It doesn't always have to be deep and like about relationships and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah, like this time about like just flexing, talking about the accomplishment, the accomplishments he's made, and like how I guess people talk down on him and stuff, and now. He's made it, so yeah, good for him. Overall, yeah, I'll give the song a certified thumbs up. We already starting off pretty good. Next song is Go Get It. I already talked about this song, so we're gonna move on from that. Next song is Shine on the World. Okay, even though I didn't like this song as much as the, as the previous as like the previous one, I still think it's a pretty good song. Uh, like just saying like, oh, shine on the world. Like just basically him just saying like, oh hey, like, I got, I have, I have the talent, I have the love for this. Why not do it? You know, and like uh, he just went on and did, and like uh, now like he's successful and like he's just doing what he likes. I'm assuming, and then I like the line where he's like. Whenever like a play on whenever his songs are playing on the radio, like uh he gets royalties, like basically saying like he gets paid every time his songs play wherever. So that's a good thing for him. I wonder is he signed or is he like independent? Does anybody know that? If you do, let me know in the comments down below if you want to comment, of course. Uh I like I thought his performance was pretty good on here. Not as good as the previous song, but pretty good nonetheless. I like the production. At first it kinda of sounded it was kinda of mixed with like kinda of like a hip hop type of style. And that's probably just me. Uh, I also like the choir at the end of the song. I thought they did pretty good too. It's always it, it seems like it's always like a, a good thing to put a choir in your song. So yeah, I think the song's pretty good. But then get but like I said before, not as good as the first one. Next song, truly yours. We could be our that song, like, I was a bit worried about, like, because, like, as soon as I heard production, it's time he had, like, kind of an old school style to it. I was like, I don't know how to feel about this because I'm just not, like, I'm not, like, really a person listening to, like, old school music, you know? It's just not for me. But I was surprised to see I didn't really bother me really at all. And I think this is like so far of all the songs, this is probably Eric's like uh, best performance vocal or vocally so far on this project at least. I saw overall his performance pretty good. Dom Kenny, like, I don't like he was okay, I guess. Like, he was really just the hook, I think he was, but it is what it is. And the game, I thought he was alright. When you put an R&B artists and hip hop artists together, 
It's a lot of times rare for the rapper to outdo the R&B singer. You know, that Eric was the best on this song in the game. He was cool, but I just prefer, you know, the singing part. So, yeah, I think that song's pretty good. Again, like, not enough for me to say certified thumbs up, but it was pretty good nonetheless. Okay, so I already talked about what about Alice. Sorry, gave a certified thumbs up, so we're gonna skip over that and go to the next song, Euphoric. Why you wanna kill my boss? Why we came out? Really, it's that tension bring us back to life. Cause you've been taking it slow. So when you put in my face, take it slowly, yeah. I don't know nothing, get in the way. Just wanna make you feel for it, yeah. That was a good song right there. Again, Eric Bellinger, like, uh, this talking about, like, like, uh, again, like, his vocals have been pretty good. I guess he's talking about, like, the more relationship side and stuff like that. Maybe a bit, like, sexual here and there. That's why I got the song. I could be wrong, but that's what I've heard. Like, uh, that performance is pretty good. And Brandy, why I know about her, I had, I never listened to any of her music, but, like, why I know about her just based on, like, other people talking about her and stuff like that. It's so, like she's basically a veteran in the arm in the R and B lane, you know, and, like in like female R and B and stuff like that. I thought her part was cool, but like she didn't really do a lot, you know. Like she was really just like the core, kind of like more like a background singer in this song because I thought I heard like, little parts of here of her here and there, but like I don't know. I feel like it would be more interesting like to like get my full thoughts on her if she had a full verse, but. I mean, they did the way they did it, but overall, yeah, I think that song is pretty good. And I'll give it a certified thumbs up. Next song, Only Fan. I already listened to that song, so I'm going to skip that one and go to No Favors. Not the deepest song, just basically him talking about a girl that's like a, a bit high maintenance, saying like, oh, you want to get with her, you gotta like have like a big name and a big wallet. And basically, she don't go over just anybody. And like, I guess he's saying like, oh, well, I got her. So yeah, like, uh, not the deepest song, but like, I mean, like, it's cool for, it's cool for what it is. Like, uh, the song overall sounds good. In my opinion, if the song sounds good, that's more important than what the person's talking about. That's just my personal opinion. You can disagree with me if you want, but it is what it is. I thought the song sounded pretty good. Bit of a shorter song, but I feel like it worked for what the song was doing. And the production was pretty good, and overall, yeah, I'm really feeling this song, and you know what? I can give it another certified thumbs up. We, this album's hitting. I'm not quite. This album is hitting. Next song, Tired of Waiting. Give it to you, I'ma put it right back in you, baby. I'm when I give it to you, I'ma pause just so you could breathe that in. What's up? What's good? I'm moving, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting tired of waiting. This song, like, the title of it was a bit misleading to me <laughs> because, like, when, when I saw it, I thought he was about to talk about, like, uh, this girl that he's been trying to get with that he likes and, like, she's been, like, playing games and stuff like that and now he's just wondering, like, hey, like, what, what, like, are we something or are we not? Like, I thought it was gonna be something like that, you know, but, like, no, it's just another sex song, which, like, hey, it's good if you win that boo, but, like, uh, I don't know, I thought it would be more interesting with the other route, but I'm not mad of what route I went into. Still sounds, it's still a pretty good sounding song. Not one of my favorites, but it sounds pretty good. I, I thought his performance was pretty well, too. Next song is Lava Lamps. I, it's been a minute since I've seen a lot of land. I think the last one I saw was like Walmart when I was like a little kid or something. Like, do people even use those anymore? I'ma take my time till this time to leave. Four walls and sand, so some kind of lie. Toast and sip it out of Grammy. When she with me, she a dancer. Run from the deep streets, dripping like a sun drip. In the dark, okay, basically, he's the same, like, okay, like, uh, like, when him and his girl are in the room together and they're doing their thing, all this gonna be on is Lava Lamps, basically, so, that's where the, that's where Lava Lamps play your part, but, yeah, I still think it's a pretty good song, uh, again, such a matter, not the deepest, it was, like, talking about, like, a bit more, like, flexing, like, uh, like, having a toast from a Grammy, which, like, I don't know if he has a Grammy, vocal performance pretty good, 
production pretty good. Such a matter, not the deepest, but it's not it's not something that like like this takes me out of the song at all. It is what it is, and yeah, I think the song's pretty good. And let's go on to the next one. She don't even try to get even. Oh, your heart is safe, it's just messing my side. But baby, don't you think about me? We're dealing with demons. You're fucking up, but you say it's all like. That's probably one of my least favorites, like right there. It's not it's not like a bad song, it's just that like my the production wasn't really my favorite on here, but it wasn't something that, like, that was just terrible at all. Uh again like his vocal performance, pretty good. I didn't like him just saying like okay like, I mess up, I may do things you may not like, but in the end it's still all about us, I'm not going anywhere. Basically, like you know, just saying like he's he's planning to stay with this girl and stuff like that, which is nice, but you should probably get your act together, <laughs> just saying. But yeah, the song is okay. Next song, Count My Blessings. Got a word for it, was it take? It is gonna be worth the way. Put me right on my purpose, right on my path. Things you do just leave me a man. That was a good one right there. Like, uh, like basically the song Count My Blessing, I guess they're talking about, like, uh, what I got from Eric Bellinger is that, like, he was talking about how, like, uh, this love in his, like, uh, how he wanted love or something like that, and saying, like, oh, but it's not something that's just, that's just gonna be handed to you. You gotta, like, go out there and work for it again. And it also, that also goes, to, like, other things in life. Eventually, like, uh, he went through the motions, like, uh, and like uh, things changed inside that, and eventually, like uh, he got to a point, I guess, where he's happier now. It's all paid off in the end for him, and he's just basically counting his blessings and stuff. And honestly, it's such a matter. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I thought his vocal performance was pretty good. Probably one of the better ones. It's not the best one out of this entire album. Really enjoyed it. And the key, and then Kiera, I thought she did really good. I honestly think she did better than Eric, especially when she hit those high notes. Like. That was pretty good. I like. Also, I, I kind of like how they kind of like sung together in a way, like uh, at the end of the song. Just overall, the song was pretty good, and I'm gonna give it a certified thumbs up. Next song, "Girls Like You." Compared to like the song we just came off of, it's not as good, but it's still a pretty good song. To me, like he kind of sounds like Bryson Tiller on this song. Like, it's am I the only one who thinks that? But yeah, like uh, again, like vocal performance did pretty good. The Tidra lady, like, I thought she did pretty well too. And based such a man is talking about, hey, like oh, this girl, these types of girls are the ones, like you. Like, uh, you know they deserve to, like, uh, you know, get get cussed by, like, the right man, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, a bit switch up on the subject matter, but, but like, yeah, so it's pretty cool. The production was pretty good. The one thing I was confused about, and, like, I don't get why he did that, was, like, like just, like, his extra minute on this song, and where, like, uh, it's just, like, nothing. Eric and, like, uh, the feature, they just stop singing, and then Eric comes back with this just hook. It's just, like... Okay, like, I feel like that card could be cut out. I didn't think you need that part, but it's the only wish I have with the song. But it's song, the song's pretty good too. You're not the second to last song going Dutch. It's slower, but it's not like to the point where it was like I, th I thought it was kind of boring. I thought the song was actually pretty good, not boring, so that's a good thing. Basically, the subject matter is talking about this girl, like, saying, like, oh, she has like a lot of potential and she works so hard for certain stuff and stuff like that. And like, just saying, like, uh, oh, you deserve more, like, you deserve a guy who's gonna treat you well, me, uh, and you deserve like a good life, something I can give you, you know, just basically just trying to talk to or talk to the girl to like leave her man. And getting with him, basically. Like, it's still not one of my favorite stuff, you know? And now we're at the last song, Backwards. Say they can help you shine when the shit's sunny. Where was they at when I was down? Yeah, shit is backwards. Shit is up in my back. You 
can't get none of my shit. But you said I was unheard of. Now I'm so it's backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good outro. Like, like uh, him just talking about basically saying like, you know, like, oh, like uh, you weren't there for me when I was down. You talked down on me. Uh, now that I come, and when I was trying to come up, you didn't support me at all again. You still talk down on me, and now I'm up. Now you want to come around and talk to me and stuff like that. And, and it's basically talking about fake people in his life. And if you don't know me, let me, let me tell you something. When songs usually talk about like fake people and unsupportive people, that's usually a type of song that I really enjoy. And that this is no, that's no different from this song. And again, like uh, with a really strong vocal presence from Eric. And it, it feels funny to just call him Eric, but I'm just gonna say it. Uh, and production being pretty well done. It's a really good way to end off the album. So I'm gonna give this certified thumbs up. Really good, really good. Okay, so this was Eric Bellinger's album, New Light, How I Feel About It. I'm glad to say that his album not only met, but exceeded my expectations. Uh, one, production overall was really good. It wasn't like too experimental, like how like a lot of artists have been trying to do. Especially in R&B from what I've heard. Aikau is not too experimental. It's up pace. Some of it is a bit slower. I will give it that. But it is not to the point where it's like boring or anything like that. It's pretty good. Eric Bellinger. I thought he had like a pretty good performance throughout the entire project. Good vocals. Good flow. He's still on the beat pretty well. Delivery pretty good. He was understandable. Stuff like that. I will say though, the more I listen to this album, he sounds like a more up-paced Bryson Tiller to me. That's just my opinion. The subject matter I feel like is the weakest part of this project, but it's not a part that really bots me like that. Sure, some songs could have been a bit deeper than others, and there are some pretty like uh, interesting songs, subject matter wise, on this project. But I know, but it's not like that wasn't really what he was trying to go for, which is which is not a bad thing. Again, like. Like uh, to me, like such a man and lyrics aren't the most important thing to a song. Is if the song sounds good, and I feel like he succeeded on like uh, pretty much the entire album, in my opinion. So yeah, like uh, such a man, it was decent. Features, I thought all the features were pretty well. I think the game was my least favorite feature, and Don Don Kenny because like he wasn't really on there. Other features like Brandy, I feel like she could been good, but it's just like you barely hear, you, like she's barely in the song, so it's just like eh. But in Seven Streeter, Kiara, Kedra, like, uh, I thought the, those three did pretty well. The females did pretty well overall on this project, so I'll give it that. And, uh, yeah, like, this project, I, I, I'm surprised at how much I like this because, like, again, like, I didn't have, like, high expectations that come into it. There's really no song I dislike, like, that could change in the future. It could not, who knows. And then uh, another thing, like, over a 40-minute album, but it didn't even feel that long. It felt like... This felt short, you know? Then again, a lot of songs were like like two or three minutes, which I do like. I like that length. I feel like it works well for him. And yeah, like I just think it's overall, again, like this project is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give it definitely a certified thumbs up. And I'm going to give it a B plus for me. Definitely one of the better R&B projects I've heard this year. And I'm, I'm probably going to look into like uh, more of his music. Like, after this video done. So, like, if you got any recommendations, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know how y'all feel about this project overall. Whether y'all like it or y'all dislike it. Be sure to leave a like and enjoy today's video. And subscribe if you want more content from me. It really helps out the channel. That's what we all have to say. This is Trey Dynasty. Hope you have a great day. Thank y'all for watching. And I'm out.